very good morning guys this is pratik in front of you first of all i would like to thanks for sir who gave me this wonderful opportunity and i take this opportunity guys today i come from nifl because my sir has given me a task to make a documentary video so that's why i came here to make a documentary video so let's go guys As you see, guys, this is the Tanzan Tomb of Gwalior, and this is located in Khazira Choraya. And this is a very beautiful place. And there are a lot of gardens and trees. It's very greenery, greenery. And there are a lot of people is who come here and walk here to fitness. So. As you know, guys, the tomb of Muhammad Ghaz was built in 16th century during the Akbar rule. And the Muhammad Ghaz was an Afghan prince who later converted into Sufi son. Uh, the according to legends, the Muhammad Ghaz, Muhammad Ghaz assisted Babur when he was conquering the fort of Gwalior in 1526. The tomb of Muhammad Ghaz is prominent, pilgrimage center of both Hindu and Muslims. The structure of this tomb is typical Mughal architecture. With hexagonal pillar and stand each of its four corner. The tomb of the tomb of Tanzin. Yes, the building is square in plan, and the top of the square dome decorated with blue ceramic tiles. Highlight of this stuff from an architecture perspective has to be curved stone jalis, um, which are on the outer wall of veranda, the surrounding of the inner chamber. You know, guys, the intricate and elaborate patterns are amazing. With each example of slightly different, I am not sure, but I have seen a lot of expensive jalis in India, but I am certainly not have any evidence. Uh, you know, guys, this delicate. Stone work has survived over the last 500 years. Unfortunately, the photograph does not really do this building justice. I took plenty of photo, but none of them really the poetry of experience. Actually, being there is thing for it yourself. You know, guys, the tomb of Muhammad Ghaz and Tanzin are located in a pretty park. Which is located in uh, the old city in Gwalior. When you visit the Gwalior Fort, the eastern side, the approx one kilometer uh, on the eastern Guzri Mahal at foot of of the hill. You know, guys, the Tanzin was born something 1493 to 1506, and much of his life is surrounding the uh, contradictory legends. He was born in Hindu family, and his father already well-known musician and poet in Gwalior, and he grew up being influenced by Muhammad Ghaz, and the ultimately the Muhammad Ghaz a part of Akbar Akbar court. Many of Akbar court has record documents to. Oh, Tanzin was loved by the emperor because of his legendary music. So I today I am visit whole Tanzin tomb and I am going to my home. So bye.